Hey everyone, today I want to talk about a service that I love. It's called Mailbrew, and it's a way for you to create your own personalized newsletters. So email newsletters are huge, like they're everywhere. You probably have some that you subscribe to. And Mailbrew is kind of this concept of being able to create your own. So you can take a lot of sources that interest you, such as Twitter accounts, uh, Twitter hashtags, subreddits that you like, uh, YouTube channels, uh, stocks, like there's a whole bunch of things, RSS feeds. You can basically throw all these things into a brew and then schedule that for when you want it to come. So I have a lot of daily ones. I have a couple weekly ones. So if you look at the four that I get right now, or actually three, I should say, um, I've got Morning Brew. This is my main one. This has a whole bunch of things that come to me. So these are a bunch of things that I want to see every day to kind of get an update on what's going on in the world, uh, what are some fun things, what, what's some fun like photography and art stuff that I can follow along with. Every day at 6 a.m. I get that, and I really love that. I've got another one for video essays. Every Thursday at 6 a.m. I get another one with a whole bunch of YouTube channels who do uh, some you know, video essay stuff, so I get a weekly update on some of those that are kind of fun. And then I get a geek one every Sunday at 11. <laughs> this is just a lot of geeky things, space and science and technology stuff. So. How does this work? Um, so I wanna show you one today. I wanna show you that I'm creating one. So I wanted to create a brew that was specifically for photography, specifically uh, photographers posting to Twitter. And so if I go over to things, I actually have a list of all the accounts that I wanna follow. So I wanna follow all of these because these accounts tend to post photos and they tend to be beautiful. But you know, you lose things in Twitter. So I wanted to just kind of have these um, in a regular brew that I get, so a regular newsletter. So I'm gonna go up to new brew, and then this is where you create it. So you can set the schedule first, uh, daily, weekly, or monthly. Um, I'm gonna do weekly. Um, let's say I wanna get this on, let's see, I wanna do it Saturdays, not Mondays, maybe Wednesdays and Saturdays, how about? So I'll do that and I'll do it at, I wanna do it before I wake up. So and let me just do it at the same time as all my other ones, 6 a.m. So. Now it's gonna be Wednesdays and Saturdays at 6 a.m. And then I need to add some sources. So here's all the sources you can see. Uh, there's a decent number of them, but I wanna do Twitter. So you can do a list, a search, or a user. And I'm gonna choose a user. So let me go back to here, Liam Wong. Um, let me copy their username. There we go. And so they show up, excellent. I wanna see their most popular tweets. And this is where you can really customize it. I wanna see their latest tweets or most popular. So let me just do most popular. I'll include retweets in that. How many tweets? Um, show me a maximum of three for them. And then uh, let's do images are gonna be uh, full images. And the layout instead of full widths, like I'm seeing here, I'm gonna do three columns. So if they have three, I want them to show up like that. So cool, so that's what they're gonna look like. That's a live preview of what the results are right now. So that's pretty cool. Um, what if I do two columns? Is that a little easier to see the pictures? A little bit, um, but you know what? I think three kind of gives me an idea. So I'm gonna go with that and then there we go. So that's it. Uh, that's how you add one. I'm gonna add another one. And so then I'm just gonna go down the list, right? I'm going to just copy the usernames for all of these accounts, paste them in. I'm gonna do kind of the same settings for each. Top three, this is kind of annoying. I do have to actually uh, choose the layout every time. Um, so there's that. And basically what you'll see is once I'm done is I'll have all of them here. I can rearrange them if I'd like, and then I can go ahead and save it. Right, and so it's here. I didn't give it a name, so let me give it a name real quick. Uh, I'm gonna edit and then do this as a Twitter photographers. Cool. So now I have Twitter photographers that'll show up on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 6 a.m. It'll show me the top ones for all those accounts. And again, I only have two in here right now, but I could do quite a few more. Um, and you're, I'm just gonna get all of them. And if there's no new posts, then they won't show up here. There'll be nothing. But if there are posts, I'll see up to three for these and I'll be able to kind of like click into them. Uh, if you click into it, of course, it will show you that. Um, I guess if I click on the date, which is tw how Twitter embeds work, um, then you see the actual tweet. So these are some really awesome photos. Um, I'll put a link to all of these accounts that I'm going to follow in the description so you can follow them as well if you'd like. But yeah, that's how I do a simple uh, email newsletter in Mailbrew. You can see I've got a couple of them. If I go into my Morning Brew one, um, you can see it's pretty lengthy. And if I uh, go to edit, there's quite a few 
uh, sources here that I'm getting. It's mostly subreddit stuff, so I'm getting a lot of, um, like I get a fun quote, a shower thought, some pictures and art and design stuff and some gaming news. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of how I like to start my day. You can do a ton with this. You can really customize it to exactly what you want. There are public ones. There's ones that Mailbrew suggests when you set up an account to get started. So it's really easy to use. It is $10 a month. I do have a link in the description for you to sign up. Uh, if you sign up, uh, it helps me out as well, helps the channel a little bit. But yeah, uh, check out Mailbrew today. Again, not a sponsored video, just a service that I really, really like. So thank you so much for watching.